Stirring the coffee with chopsticks using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Good morning. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started, but first, coffee. Nice. This morning is buttered coffee. Actually, ghee in the coffee. Kind of like a bulletproof coffee. Coffee, hot milk, frothed, a little bit of honey, and a teaspoon of ghee, and then kind of like whipped up. Perfect, substantial, purposeful. It's very cold out today, hence why wearing a hat indoors. This part of the kitchen uh, does not have a vent. The other part does, and I'm surrounded by windows. Glass slider here, two windows here, so it is a little bit chilly here. So I could sit here and freeze, or not. I choose not to. Let's get started. If you can't be enthusiastic about you, do not expect me to be enthusiastic about you. Do you need a fill-in speaker? Apart from regular speaking engagements, I'm also available as a fill-in speaker for your conference, retreat, or association meeting. Sometimes a speaker has to cancel. Stuff happens, things happen, and organizations are in a bind. Who do you call? Do you just leave that spot open, or do you fill it? That's why I'm offering myself as a fill-in speaker. Just DM me. You can email me, gb at georgebruno.com. On networking groups. <clears throat> Let's talk about networking groups. Things that you go to after work that are held at a restaurant or a bar where you pass out business cards. And I've done those for over 30 years. I've gotten a few customers from them. For the most part... They're a waste of time, for the most part. At best, they are just something to do. I've been to dozens for long periods of time, like I said, for over 30 years. If you get any business or name recognition, or it contributes to your strategy of preeminence, then cool, keep going. There's a right way and a wrong way to run a networking group. They don't run themselves. Networking groups do not run themselves. You don't say, hey, we're meeting here at 6 o'clock. Please join us. There has to be a structure and a purpose. There has to be a free-form meet-and-greet time, and the organizer really needs to get around and personally shake hands and welcome each person. That's important, or do that at the door. Too much structure, and people zone out after a long day of work, no structure and tons of delusion and just thinking that it's going to be a success, that's a recipe for disaster and boredom and you won't have a second one. Just think of all the gas and money you could save by not going to networking events and putting that money, those few dollars, into Facebook and Instagram ads or SEO optimization. You're better off doing that if the purpose of going to a networking group was to get more business. Fake compassion. Until you say something they disagree with, then that compassion becomes verbally and physically aggressive. And I've never been wrong on that issue. I can spot fake compassion from a mile away. Everybody is cool until they're not. That's what me and my brother Tony Bruno say all the time. Everybody is cool until they're not. Maybe one of the best acts of the 70s was Tony, Orlando, and Don. Fun, positive, energetic, a perfect combination of voices and personalities. When I was a young man, I wish I was Tony Orlando. Orlando. 
When you give the government your information, it's not if it gets abused, it's when it happens. When the key is held by someone else, liberty means absolutely nothing. That's from Dan Bongino. Last night I was smoking a cob with a strong Balkan blend while texting my 23-year-old daughter in a conversation about the Stone Temple Pilots, a band that I liked back before she was born in the 90s. And one thing that I've learned having a girl and two boys is that girls communicate infinitely more than boys do. Infinitely almost to the point where I have to text my sons and say, hey, I have to say something provocative just to get them to respond. Females definitely communicate more and better and deeper early on than men. I told the truth about something two years ago and I lost 5,000 Twitter followers in one day. And two years later, I am 100% correct, 100% vindicated, but by then, all 5,000 probably blocked me. No worries, it's just another day in the world of the Sultan, pulling the masks off of false prophets for 30 years now. Feeling pretty good about that. I got a note, comment from a female follower. As a woman, and this is to a video that I did, that's called, If You Are the Prize, You Better Look, Think, and Act Like It. She says, as a woman, I feel pleasure from his presence, his energy. It flows, it feels warm and soothing in the best way. When he makes me a cup of tea, I can feel it with my eyes closed. Thank you for this, George. You are doing great work. Thank you, Tanisha. My response is when a man is firm, loving, a leader, and decisive, this is how his woman talks about him. In my world, excuse me, my eyes are watering. This is that time of year when the weather changes that my nose gets just drippy, and sneezy, and this happens till about December. So usually, the month of November usually does that to me. It has done that for decades now. In my world, in my projects, I give the orders. If I am in someone else's world, working on their projects, I take the orders. Take note, red pill idiots. <clears throat> Other than the bathroom cleaner at Taco Bell and the colonoscopy scope cleaner, lice removal specialist has to be one of the grossest jobs out there. Can you think of any other gross jobs? Put your answer down below. I'd like to see that. Make your own paradigm complete with derogatory terms. Then call people those words. Your following will adopt those concepts and use them. Hence, weaponized, divisive ideology. I didn't think I was going to have to do that. The first time I ever blew my nose on camera. It was either that or I felt, I felt it coming. The fact that people can be called a denier. Just think about all the things that you can deny in history. You are a blank denier, a this denier, is proof that the thought police are real. There's probably a lot of things that you've been taught and are being taught that never happened or are currently happening. Fact. Stay, for, stay thirsty for truth, my friends. Stay thirsty for truth. Men, imagine the type of woman you could meet at something like 
Grant Cardone's 10X Growth Con. Of course, that's not the reason why you would go to that, but just think about the kind of women that you would meet at that. A little bit different than the happy hour you go to, isn't it? I was at a Jack Canfield seminar, and all I saw in the room was appearance, motivation, conversation. From a man's point of view, the women were well-kept, beautiful, some real leaders, some more mellow, all friendly, all positive. Think about where, and of course, if that's how people are, then you need to be the same. But think about it. Do you want to go to a, let's say, guys, let's say you want a woman that is going to be a good wife, a mother, a good companion to you. Do you think you're going to find her in a bar? Seriously. Do you think she, she's going to be sitting at the bar or at a club? Highly doubtful. Are you hot in the summer with that beard? No, I'm hot all year round. In the summer they say to me, aren't you hot with that beard? Uh, yes, the glorious fall and winter. The time of year where I say to beardless guys, aren't you freezing with that bald face? The moment, and this is a repeat, the moment a man takes a pipe, he becomes a philosopher. It's the poor man's friend, calms the mind, soothes the temper, makes a man patient under difficulties. It has made more good men, good husbands, indulgent fathers than any other blessed thing on this earth. The real red pill is the adult pill. Be a man, be a woman. I feel a sneeze coming, oh my gosh. This was the issue when I was in uh, com the commercial world and in broadcasting, was that they actually had sneeze buttons <laughs> to mute the audio. I don't have a sneeze button right now. <laughs> The real red pill is the adult pill. Be a man, be a woman, be an adult. Be considerate. Help yourself, help others. You will attract what you are. You will attract what you are. If you're a dick, if you're a red pill meathead, guess what? That's what you get surrounded by. And it gets really old really quick. And Steppy writes... To anyone in the Red Pill community looking for a better path forward, I can't recommend George Bruno enough. Honest man recognizes the legitimacy of many of the Red Pill questions, but offers better answers. Thank you, Steppy. I appreciate that. And with that, finish your coffee, and I'll see you tomorrow on the Daybreak Show, the home of sanity, clarity, and reason. Mm -hmm.